Google will pay the $7 million fine to settle a multi-state investigation into a Snoopy software program that enabled the Internet search leader to intercept emails, passwords and other sensitive information sent several years ago over unprotected wireless networks in neighborhoods across the world. The agreement announced Tuesday covers 38 states and the District of Columbia, part of the area where households and local merchants unwittingly had some of their communications on WIFI networks snatched by Google Incorporated from early 2008 until the spring 0 F 2010. Google stopped the data collection in May 2010, shortly before the company revealed cars taking street-level photos for its online mapping service also had been grabbing information transmitted over WIFI networks that had been set up in homes and businesses without requiring a password to gain access. The company blamed the intrusion on a rogue engineer who rigged the data collection program into equipment that was supposed to only detect basic information about local WIFI networks to help plot the locations of people using its mapping service and other products. After concluding its own investigation, the Federal Communications Commission last year asserted that some of Google's managers knew about the engineer's plan to vacuum information being transmitted over the WIFI networks. Google hasn't identified the engineer who set up the data collection program. The surveillance triggered outrage among privacy watchdogs and government investigations in more than a dozen countries. The backlash so far has been more of a public relations blow than a financial setback for Google which has embraced Don't Be Evil as its corporate motto. Even as it repeatedly apologized for a breach of online etiquette, Google insisted that it didn't break any laws in the U.S. The company is maintaining that position in the multi-state investigation by entering into a settlement that doesn't include any admission of wrongdoing. Google, based in Mountain View, California, released another contrite statement Tuesday. We worked hard to get privacy right at Google, the company said. But in this case we didn't, which is why we quickly tightened up our systems to address the issue. The multi-state agreement requires Google to destroy the personal data that it collected from the WIFI networks, unless a lawsuit or other legal action requires the information to be preserved. The series of class action lawsuits are still being appealed in San Francisco federal court. Google says it never looked at the data, although regulators in other countries have reviewed the information as part of their investigations. Canadian regulators said Google had obtained the full names, telephone numbers and address of some people using the unprotected WIFI networks. In France regulators found that Google had grabbed an email exchange between a married man and woman discussing a possible affair and other information about sexual preferences.